Hello everybody, in 2009 I'm going to be celebrating the triumph of science over stupidity and superstition and so on and so forth. Now, even though I do not want to elevate anybody onto a pedestal for this, I would like to use two people as a catalyst into the celebrations and they are the two people who would naturally come to mind this year, the people who are actually celebrating a centenary, being Charles Darwin and Galileo Galileo. And today I would like to talk about Galileo. Now we all know that he had this little spat with the Catholic Church and how that turned out, but there's more to Galileo than that. He also discovered, for example, that Aristotle's laws of motion which had not been challenged for over a thousand year, years, were in fact wrong. And he did this simply by observing reality properly, rather than armchair philosophizing as many other people would do. And of course Galileo is one of the first people who actually used experiment to verify his ideas. Now Aristotle thought it was self-evident that lighter objects would fall faster than heavy objects. He thought that every material object has an affinity to the ground, as he called it, has a sort of desire to be down low. Heavier objects have more of this desire, so they would try to get down low quicker than light objects. Now, at first, this seems a perfectly reasonable idea. Let's, for example, look at the difference between this piece of paper, which is quite light, and this pencil, which is a good bit heavier than this piece uh, of paper. Let's see what happens when we drop these objects. The light object first takes a little while to fall down. The heavier object next falls a lot faster. So Aristotle seems to be right. But is he really? Let's look at two other objects. Same pencil, but this time we're comparing it to a rock. And I can tell you folks, this pencil is quite light. This rock is good and heavy. And let's see what happens if we drop these two objects side by side, shall we? Now I don't know what that looked like to you, but to me it looked pretty much like the two hit the floor at the same time. There certainly didn't seem to be a huge difference in speed between the two, if there was any at all. But maybe there was, maybe I was just wasn't able to measure it, it was so subtle. I don't know. But Galileo looked a little bit beyond this. He did a couple of Gedanken experiments first. And he thought, hang on a second, what happens if you combine objects? Now surely, according to Aristotle, this should be very easy. Let's look at the two original objects again. My piece of paper and my pen. This is a light object, this is a slightly heavier object. But if I combine the two and make a single object out of it, like so, a piece of paper with a pen, a pencil on top of it, this combined object is heavier than either of the original objects were. So certainly this is going to fall faster than the piece of paper as well as the pencil. Is it? No. That clearly fell much more slowly than the pencil did. It may have fallen a bit faster than the piece of paper, but it fell slower than the pencil on its own. So something's not right here. And he thought of another experiment. Let's take a little bit of rope. Let's take a heavy object and a light object. Now according to Aristotle, the heavy object would be falling fast, the light object would be falling slowly. So if you tie the one to the other, like so, you would expect that the heavy object, due to it falling faster than the slow object, would end up dragging the slow object 
to the floor. Let's have a look. No. Again, they pretty much fell and hit the floor at the same time. And as a final nail in the coffin of Aristotle's ideas, Galileo finally realized something else. Let's look at this piece of paper again and how quickly it falls. Or rather how slowly it falls. Now, I'm not going to do any tricks with this piece of paper. All I'm going to do is change its shape. Like so. This clearly is the same piece of paper. I did not do anything with it other than crumple it up. And suddenly it falls as fast as the pencil did and as fast as the rock did. And Galileo realized that these absurd, observed differences in speed in falling were purely due to the resistance of the air against the object falling through them. And he realized that Considering the object experiments we did, combining two objects together, tying one to the other, realizing that in all the circumstances they would fall down and hit the floor at the same time, and he finally arrived at his conclusion that the speed at which objects fall is not determined by their weight. Objects, if there was no air resistance, all objects, regardless of what they were, would fall at the same speed. This was finally and definitively confirmed when two astronauts took a hammer, I think it was, and a feather to the moon, dropped them at the same time, and they hit the lunar first surface at the same instant. And Galileo was vindicated 400 years after he performed the experiments himself.